All right, it is another fantastic day in the Philippines because it is gorgeous out and as usual I'm surrounded by friendly and happy people and of course there is chickens everywhere. Um, that being said, the solar company just showed up so I am really happy about this. Okay, so they are actually starting their insulation. They started about 20 minutes ago. Uh, I ran upstairs to take a quick shower before I started recording and they already got the entire truck unloaded and um, they're getting the equipment installed already. Um, so they are moving along very quickly. Um, the inverter looks like it's already installed as well. I mean, I wouldn't say it's installed. It's um, sitting in the room, but anyways, we'll go take a look at it. Okay, so it is now 6 p.m. I'm wrapping up the uh, gym out here, and as of right now, uh, you can tell by looking at the atmosphere in the background, uh, the sun has gone down for the most part. It's behind the mountains. A um, little bit of clouds, but it was sunny pretty much all day. I hope this comes out clear because it's actually a little dark. Um, but yeah, the, the light is still green, so we're still getting, we're producing more power than I'm using. Uh, again, I don't have a lot on. I get the kitchen light on, uh, coffee pot, one air conditioner. So, I mean, there's not a lot running, but either way, I'm comfortable saying that with almost everything running at 7 a.m., I'm not using <laughs> nearly what I have available. And at 6 p.m., for what we're doing, we're not using anywhere near that amount of power as well. So, I mean, by 7 p.m., that'll definitely change. Um, I'm going to have to check it tomorrow morning because, I mean, the sun comes up at 520. So, I'm guessing I'm starting to build power, you know, close to 6. Um, but when I've been checking it at around 7, we're doing really good. We are still 
taking zero consumption. Morning everyone. All right, I think this is a very good example. It is now uh, 7.22 a.m. Uh, I just came outside because the sun just broke through the clouds the last couple of days, the last two days that we had the solar, uh, it was very cloudy. Um, that being said, I still wanted to test the solar each day with all the clouds, but today is a good example because it's very sunny, but it's only 7 a.m. So as you can see with the angle of the sun, it's it's out, but it's, you know, it's barely out. So it's at a, a very strong angle coming down at the house. So let's see how the solar is doing already at, you know, a very early time. Like I said, it's 722, um, but at least it's sunny so we can get a good idea. All right, so that is good. Um, as of right now, like I said, it's only 7.20 a.m. Uh, we have two air conditioners running and a few small items, nothing too crazy. And either way, we are still overpowering the house. So as of right now, we're already not pulling from the meter whatsoever and we're making excessive power. So that's a good thing because it's only 7.20 in the morning. It's supposed to be sunny all day, so it should be an excellent day. Even the last couple days with all the clouds, because the unit is overpowered, um, we were fine regardless, but I wanted to get a good idea in the sun because it's gonna make a big difference, of course. Okay, well that concludes seven days of testing. So I am now very happy to report on how this unit is working. I didn't really want to do this the first week um, because if I'm going to go online and tell everyone the quality of this product and the company that I got it from and I've only had it for one day or, or five days, it didn't really make a lot of sense to me. Um, I wanted to actually give it a little bit of time so then I could say, here's the company I went through and here's how well it worked. So that being said, um, it is very cloudy and it is about 7.30 a.m. And you can see by looking at around me, it is not sunny out at all. Um, and as of right now, I have two air conditioners on, uh, two computers, probably 10 lights and started the washing machine, probably a handful of other things that I'm not thinking about like charging batteries or something like that. But either way, I'm really happy with this product. Again, it's only been a week, so I'd like to do this after 90 days, but everyone's asking me a lot of questions and I didn't want to be one of those guys saying, oh, I bought this, here's the company name, it's working great, everyone should, get, everyone should have it and I've only had it for one day. Um, but anyways, again, it's, uh, it's very cloudy out. It was raining most of the night and I'm using zero power consumption from the meter. So the sun, just the solar panels alone are supporting two air conditioners and everything else running in the house. And again, it's only 7.30 in the morning. So the sun is not at a strong angle. Not that I can even see the sun, but I'm still getting more than enough power that I need. So I'm very happy with this unit. So I went with a DPX solar out of Dumaguete. So I looked at a few different companies and there was quite a few that I did like, but I, it was really important to me that I was able to find a company that one, could get to me for repair purposes or maintenance. Um, I found some good quality companies out of Cebu and Manila, of course, but then if I have a problem where I need to upgrade or downsize, I can't picture that ever happening, can they get to me? You know, if I'm having a problem, something's broken, if I need maintenance, whatever it is, if I'm going through a company on a completely different island, how fast are they able to support me? Which was a big factor for my decision. So that being said, um, I went with DPX Solar. They had excellent reviews. I really liked their pricing. They had good quality equipment. And I went with a five kilowatt system which running my calculations and theirs as well, I didn't need a three. A three would, the three kilowatt would fully support the house. I believe, well, it was actually a little bit less than that, um, but I didn't want to save a little bit of money up front and then have an electric bill down the road if we upgrade or we add on or, you know, who knows what. I'd rather overpower the system. Um, so I went with a five kilowatt system so their solar panels, I will put the links for their Facebook page and their website in the description. Uh, and their solar panels are 460 watts and it came with 11 of them. 
So when you do the math, that was, what is it, 5,060 watts or 5,050, 5,060 watts, um, which was great. So on top of that, I think, I, I know I already said this, but I don't know if it would be in the video, because they were delayed a little bit because of shipping and getting the five kilowatt system in stock, they upgraded my kit. They were able to get the, the six kilowatt system on time so they they upgraded my kit so i still have the solar panels for a little over five thousand um but the inverter is set up for six so they told me right away when they were installing it and i saw it i was very happy um, that i could instantly add on one or two more solar panels now granted even the height of our consumption I haven't used half of what I have available. So as far as do I want to buy two more solar panels right now? Um, no. I mean, I'm already on average making 2,000 watts per day more than I need. Um, so I don't see a, a, a big purpose in buying two more 460 watt solar panels and then I would have close to another 1,000 watts. But in the future, that's great. I'm very happy with the customer service. Every time I ask them a question, they are very responsive. They got back to every one of my emails or phone calls. Uh, I really like their pricing. And again, they have really good quality equipment. So if you look at the specs for their systems, they sell all the three that you would want to buy. And when I say that, I'm not gonna get into all the details for solar packages, but you have on-grid, you have off-grid, and you have hybrid. So you're gonna make a decision based off of your location and what you want to spend. On-grid is the most popular. Um, Off-grid is great for locations that cannot get electricity at all. And then of course you have hybrid, which is going to be the most expensive, but it's very, very convenient and nice to have. So for me, we went with a five kilowatt, uh, um, sorry, five kilowatt on-grid, because I have a very large backup generator. So for the, let's say average two days a year we have brownouts over here and that is the average for this area for the last five years um we can turn on the generator so it didn't make sense to me to spend a couple additional thousands of dollars to buy the hybrid system and have the batteries for the two times a year i would really need it um, over here they have net metering so you put in for the paperwork and you apply for net metering and then what happens is during the day I'm making twice as much power as I need and then the energy consumption that I would be using at night they are then paying you back on because they're purchasing the overage during the day and then at the end of the month you end up not having a bill so I'll apply for the paperwork after 90 days because I want to see how much we're saving in the process and the net metering you have to pay for the paperwork so I want to make sure that it's going to make sense when I did the math it's, it's going to make sense but I don't like to just guess so it's not going to kill me to pay an electric bill for 90 days especially when it's going to be less than half the price um i'll just you know deal with that 90 days from now it's not a not a big deal my electric bill will still like i said be half of what i was expecting it to be so yeah again i'm really happy with the system really happy with the quality of it um great guys they stayed late every night and worked got it all handled and they upgraded my kit. They put everything where we wanted it. Um, very professional, very happy with them. And yeah, again, there's three different types of systems. Everyone wants a, a different one. So everyone has a different opinion on what you should have. Um, as far as return on investment, I got a very good price for the on-grid kit. So for me to almost double the cost or add quite a bit for the batteries, it didn't make sense when they're gonna buy the overage and I have a backup generator. It didn't make sense to me. Um, the return on my investment is going to be a, a very short time frame, And then if I need to replace the batteries on the hybrid system, it would have, it would have added 50% for the return on investment for me to get my money back and then by the end of that there's a good chance i'm gonna need to replace the batteries because batteries only last so long so i'm not knocking them for people that do hybrid or off-grid i fully support it they're great depending on your location and what makes sense for you so for me it made the most sense to just go with an on-grid uh, and we're really happy with it 
So again, I will put the links to all the descriptions. I tried to keep this video somewhat entertaining, but at the same time, I wanna give everyone the facts and not to bore people, but like I said, I wanted to wait a week. I didn't want to be one of those YouTubers that had it installed and I throw up a video that day or the next day and I'm promoting a company for a, a $2,500 to $10,000 or $15,000 investment and I've used them for a day. I wanted to wait a week, hasn't broken down, I've called them twice with questions. They answered, they gave me the, uh, the response I wanted. I asked them about buying additional equipment. They're very responsive, so I'm comfortable working with them, which is why I'm putting it in the video. So anyways, thank you for watching and plenty more videos to come and I will have the, uh, the next ones a lot more entertaining because this one is more factual and information based than you know, what I care to be doing all the time. But anyways, let me know if you have any questions and I will try to get back to you. I'm sure I will, because I pretty much respond to everyone. So thank you.